Foundation, Chelsea Clinton. And Secretary Hillary Rodman Clinton. Thank you, Jenna, for that lovely introduction. What an amazing way to kick off this incredibly exciting event. The double standards of beauty and women. Yeah, you, you see Chelsea. I have one more thing oh, to okay, say. Oh, okay, yes. Very quickly. Um, I also want to thank all of you for being such an inspiration to us. Um, and to me in particular. Uh, Mark and I are very excited that we have our first child arriving later this year. And, and I certainly feel all the better, whether it's a girl or a boy, um, that she or he will grow up in a world full of so many strong young female leaders. So thank you for inspiring me and thank you for inspiring future generations, including the one that we'll be lucky enough to welcome into our family later this year. Congratulations, Chelsea. I don't think anyone was smiling bigger than your mom <laughs> with that announcement. Well, I, I, I just hope that I will be as good a mom to my child and hopefully children as my mom was to Aww. me. That's a hard act to follow, oh, yeah, yeah, Secretary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you expecting a child? And then... <laughs> Well, a grandchild, yeah. yes, which I'm, I'm really excited about. And it makes this work even more important um, because we've made a lot of progress. When Chelsea was saying, we're so grateful you're here because you're a different generation than she is and certainly than I am. Um, so even in the course of my life, I've seen a lot of progress. But I want to see us keep moving and certainly for... Uh, future generations uh, as well, so that maybe our grandchild will not have to be um, worried about some of the things that young women and young men worry about today. Uh, so obviously we are very excited about what's happening in our family, but we're also very excited because of what we're uh, doing that we hope gives confidence and support to so many of you across our country as you make decisions about uh, the lives you want to lead and try to make sure there are no ceilings that are stopping you from going as far and as fast and as high as you can. So thank you, America. To that. In high school, who I, I would the congregation say, Amen. <laughs> I would think that you know, growing up in high school, I remember it wasn't so long ago that you grow up as. I think too many young women get stopped by the perfectionist gene. You think you have to be perfect instead of good enough, and believe me, there are so many young women who artificially stop themselves from progressing because they're not perfect. And I have rarely met a young man who doesn't think he already is. <laughs> if not perfect, darn close to it. So wh why do we impose these kind of burdens on ourselves? To just be even slightly sharper than my mother um, about the cockiness point, just remember that's about him, that's not about you. It's not. That is not about you, that is about him. And so whenever anyone is putting you down, either subtly or not so subtly, that is not about you. That is not a reflection on you, that is not a reflection on your character, that is not a reflection on your competitiveness, that is not a reflection on your ability to win. It's about their insecurities, about their ability to win. So good luck at your next match, and thank you for inspiring, I'm sure, lots of girls behind you.